Okay, beloved, we got to touch on a couple other points that um, the Holy Spirit is just reminding me of the scriptures. So the first point is that Jesus said that your enemies would be of your own household, that um, the mother would be against the daughter and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law and all this stuff about all of these different um, problems within a family. And I do believe that the Psalms of David give light to this also and other scriptures about how <clears throat> our mother, uh, the mother um, persecutes them or if the mother is doing things, evil things. And what is he talking about? He's talking about and forsakes him. What is he talking about? He's talking about the rebellious Jerusalem um, in rebellion. Uh, the bond woman, Jerusalem, in, in bondage with her children. Um, why would God say there's a Jerusalem in bondage with her children, which we're seeing is the bond woman's child, like Hagar, Ishmael, which Palestine is Ishmael, uh, the bond woman's child. Yes, Abraham was his father, but he was not of the promised seed. The promised seed, as we talked about, was through Isaac, Sarah's seed. And so these Palestinians are not the promised seed, all right? Um, and so, according to the scriptures, so if you notice in the scriptures that they're together, the rebellious bondwoman, uh, 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 Jerusalem, that's in bondage with her children, you know, uh, the children of the Egyptian woman, uh, after the bondwoman, the Egyptian bondwoman that Sarah gave to Abraham to have a seed because she didn't believe God was going to provide her Isaac, you know, but God did. He keeps his promises. God is faithful and true witness. He's the spirit of truth. I mean, in his people and his children and his uh, woman, uh, he's got his oracles and his woman, but this other woman that was claimed to be his, his wife or his, his uh, are, we're finding out is not um, and so she fights against God and his people alright and so this is the adulterous harlot and who's joined to the harlot Jesus in the, through the apostles said anyone that's joined to a harlot is uh, nigh unto cursing and burning so you see in revelation of Jesus Christ you see there's the kings of the earth the mighty men the princes that God talks about in the Psalms of David of the earth that he's terrible to in Psalms of David because they're joined to the harlot, <coughs> the whore. Anyone that's joined to a whore, what does he say? You're one with her. So if you're joined to this woman that is in rebellion against God, that is obeying the, the, the dragon tongue. <coughs> Excuse me, I just took a drink of my, I just stopped and got a drink in between these videos. Went down the wrong tube. Um, so you see uh, the woman that's in bondage with her children is very different than the woman of Jerusalem that God says is mother of us all. Jerusalem above. Jerusalem below is bound under the law and under sinning against the law. Sinful in bondage. So the wages of sin is death. And she's with, she's an adulterous woman. Who is she with? Well, the dragon's tongue, right? Because the, the serpent tongue, the dragon, what does the Bible talk about? The Bible talks about how the sun, out of the sun, God sent serpents to bite Israel. Okay, out of the sun, the serpents came. So we know that's not... Um, God's children, because God's children, uh, they are not serpents. They speak the spirit of truth. And the serpent represents a liar, a deceiver, according to the scriptures. Now, we're not going to speak against them. We're just saying what the scriptures say so that we don't follow them or their ways, actually. They say they're one, they're one thing, but they're doing something different. Does that make sense? So they're not obeying God. They're letting something else reign over them. But God used them. Just like Satan went up to God in the book of Job and asked to hurt Job. Okay, he came up there, presented himself with his angels, right? 
So that mother that's in rebellion, that's against us, that's fighting against us, is with somebody. Satan, the devil, the dragon, the serpent. Okay? And seeking to harm and put sickness and do all things to us and take away our riches, our treasures that God gives us and our family members. Right? That's what they do. Take away the family members too. So, and trouble us. They're a grief of mine, the scriptures say, just like it was to Isaac and Rebecca. Rebecca said, these ones are a grief of mine. And in fact, they are also pricks in our eyes and thorns in our sides. As the scriptures say, that if you let these nations that are wicked come in and you let them come and join you, they're going to be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides. And let me tell you, friends, beloved, beloved saints and friends on here, they are pricks in your eyes. I've felt them. And so I've had to speak the, the shield of faith to block the fiery darts of the wicked. What are the fiery darts of the wicked? Demons. They cast jinn to come and try to torment us. So they are a grief of mind. So you have to put up the shield of faith knowing that God has his angels circling around you and camping around you and believing without seeing that Christ is going to protect you. He's the armor of God. Put him on you. Put that armor of God. So that's what these Philist proclaiming Philistines, Palestines, are doing. They're going around in the spiritual, doing evil and casting jinn on people, doing witchcraft, casting jinn or devils, just so you know, and sending those devils to put pricks in your eyes. All right? Fiery darts. Fiery darts are from the wicked. All right? They, they shoot arrows. But God's going to break their arrows. God's going to break their bow says in the Bible and they send jinn it says in the book of Psalms of David that they send jinn to, to hurt you to try to cast up dirt and mire that's what the Bible's talking about the, the kings of the earth cast up dirt and mire whenever all their merchandise burns they're casting up demons they play with demons these people go and see 